Dominic Dorsey. Dominic, welcome. I know you're busy right now. Really appreciate your time. Thank you so much for having me. I appreciate it. Melanin in May, this is the first edition, but this is not exactly the first time you've put on a festival like this per se. No, so it started uh, with, uh, I guess we call it the granddaddy of them all, the, the black business block party, the black owned business block party that we host every year at uh, Flanner House. But now we've also done uh, Blacktoberfest in October. We do uh, the Black Business Bazaar in December. And now we come to the spring and we get a chance to do and celebrate Melanin in May, which I'm extremely excited about. This is probably one of the most ambitious undertakings that we've, we've uh, put together, but it's really exciting to see it all come together. Was this the plan all along to do one festival per season or is just that kind of how it played out? Well, I think, uh, and, and we've spoken about this before, as, as it, it applies to, you know, African Americans in, in Indianapolis. And, you know, we've always had to look forward to like Circle City Classic, uh, Black Expo in the summer. But, you know, we, we have to, and it's revolutionary to uh, express Black joy in every season. We don't have to be just restricted to summertime. It's not just barbecues and outside with the water plug. It's every opportunity that we have to to be ourselves, to be authentic, to celebrate, to embrace one another. And, and in this instance, to celebrate everything that we do in the arts. So this is, you know, our art walk, our Afrocentric art walk with some amazingly talented artists like Deanna Craig and, and Jermichael Pollard. And, and we actually have an art installation that's going to be built. Um, so it's not just paintings, it's actually going to be physical art installations. That's going to be amazing. And I also like partnering specifically and especially with uh, these community centers and highlighting the great work that they're doing. So an opportunity to partner with CAFE on the Far East Side. Uh, we haven't had an opportunity to venture out there before. Uh, again, amazing resources and services provided at that center. So as much as it is an opportunity to highlight these businesses, these performers, these artists, these culinarians, it's an opportunity to highlight a great community center like CAFE and make sure people are aware that this gym is also here here in Indianapolis. I have to give a, a shout out to Kendra Noel, who is uh, has been a partner with mine uh, at many different instances in many different uh, community centers throughout the city. She's always done great work. Um, we, we've had conversations in the past and thankfully, it was just one of those situations where I was like, you know, I'd love to come out on the far east side. Do you think we could partner, something, you know, do something over there? And it was absolutely. Um, and they've uh, invested very heavily in the community. They're creating ties on a consistent basis. They're always growing um, and again, recognizing her as being the first black CEO of that community center. Um, it just seemed like an ample time for us to, to, you know, kind of collaborate and bring additional black excellence over there to the far east side and to celebrate all of the great businesses, again, and local vendors and artists who are from the far east side and to give them a, a platform to show all of Indianapolis the great things that happen on the far east side. Dominic Dorsey, always appreciate it. Thank you so much for having me. Appreciate you. All right. Go check him out at Melanin in May.